Right everyone, we're in Fletcher here. This is part four of making a carbine crossbow. So today I'm gonna start doing the back sight, the front sight, trig guard, and then it's ready to basically sand. Oh and also what I've got to do is I've got to do the ends for the uh Prod, but I thought of a good thing to do now. I'm actually going to bolt on a piece of aluminium so that it's smaller in the ends. Uh, it's hard to explain, but I'll show you that later. Uh, to be honest, actually, that's not 100% sure if I'm doing that yet, but I think I mean, that's what I'm going to try is shaping a bit of aluminium to fit on these ends for the string, stop it uh, snapping. So that's all the bits you'll be seeing. The next bit you'll see is probably this bit fitted, maybe the front side. Right, this is the back side of spring uh, combination bit. This bit goes on like that. And there's the spring that holds down that holds down the bolt. You can still get access to the nut. And then there's your back side there. So uh, I'm just going to drill the hole. We can see these little crosses, and you can see them on camera there, 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 and there. Screw that on, do the front sight, and then do the trig guard. Right, I've got my uh, front sight bit, it will be about here. Well, what I've got to do is take this plate off, and just chisel... Oh, so I'll be to show you. I've got to chisel into the wood a bit. Right there, and there, so that this sits in underneath it's a bit more tidy then so it looked like that but obviously it's further down and underneath that bit of aluminium there so that's what I'm going to do next and then the trig guard and then uh, it's not a lot to do then just sand in the uh, stock so I may I may have it ready to paint for the uh, for part this is part so five might be the end Five might be painting, six might be shooting it. What's that bit's next? So this is a little groove I'm cutting in, and that is so that the metal can sit underneath that plate. And that should be underneath it like that. Looks a lot tidier that way. So I just got to do that on the other side, drill the hole, and then that's the front sight ready. To eventually just drill a hole and put a little bolt in. Alright, just getting the uh, trig guard on here. I've chiseled out a bit of wood there, chiseled out a bit there so it fits in flush. All I've got to do now is cut a sink the holes, screw that on, and then that's, I think that's basically all the metal work and that. All I've got to do is a bit of a uh, filing. You know, sanding, smoothing down some of the edges, fill some of the holes, cover up the tips of the screws, and then it can be ready to paint. So I'll finish that and then I'll see what else there is to do. Right, this is the last part to today's. Uh, I may just do a test quickly, I don't know. Uh, I've just put a temporary string on just to test it in a minute. All the sort of major components are on now. I don't think there's anything else to put on it for what I can be. But I have one little bolt there for the front sight. But you can see the basic look of it. If I do a test, I'll film it. If not, this may be the end part. So don't forget to visit my blog. Links down there. Plans to this crossbow there as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Uh, there may be a shooting bit in a, in a minute, but there may be not. Feel like